Want to learn the magic pill for manifesting? Keep watching. This is your life, no one else has got to live it. This is your fight that only you can win. Hello everyone and welcome to Freedom Friday, where you learn how to free yourself and live your dreams. I'm Darian, your certified spiritual rock star. And if you want to get these videos every single week and you're new here, make sure you subscribe in order to do so. So, um, I want to apologize about if my audio sounds a little funky. I'm having to use the camera audio right now because the battery has died on my microphone. I shot a video yesterday and I had to just throw the whole thing out because you couldn't hear me. So, uh, sorry for that, but doesn't matter. Message is still the same. So I just want to very quickly, because I already shot this once, I have to shoot it again. So anytime that happens, I really like to just ask spirit to move through me, to speak through me, and to give you guys whatever it is you are meant to hear right here, right now. Thank you. So the magic pill for manifesting. It may not seem like a magic pill, but it really is the one key component that is, I would say, to my knowledge at this point right now in my life, the most important part of learning how to be a manifester of that which you actually desire rather than a manifester of that which you don't desire. So that magic pill is practice. Practice. A lot of times we make the mistake of, we go on, we scour the internet, we read all the books, we find the formula for manifesting. We try to use it on something. It doesn't work because we've got all sorts of blocks to those things. We've got all sorts of practice thought opposing that which we desire. That's resistance. It's just practiced thought opposing that which what that which we desire right so we get all mad about oh this fucking law of attraction shit don't work it don't work it doesn't work truth be told it's not working because we're really not aware of our own blocks we don't even realize it we're like i did it. i did everything and now it's not working and then what happens as soon as we're like i did everything resistant that's resistance so, a lot of you are expecting yourselves, so, so let's just, imagine if you had to learn guitar for the first time, right? And I sat here and I told you, this is how you play guitar. You put your fingers here, you push hard, you strum, this is the way you move this hand, this is the way you move this hand, and this is how you play guitar, right? And then all of a sudden you expected yourself to be motherfucking Jimi Hendrix. And then got mad at yourself because you weren't Jimi Hendrix. Like, why don't I play like Jimi Hendrix? This is literally the first time you've ever picked up a guitar and you're angry because you don't sound like Jimi Hendrix. Like that's, it's insane, right? It's silly, it's just silly to think like that. So you guys are learning about the law of attraction and how to manifest. And you're getting mad at yourselves because you are not the Jimi Hendrix of manifesting that which you desire the first time you fucking use it. This is the thing. Anything that you do in life, anything that you learn, whether it's a sport or it's an instrument or anything, learning stuff in school, learning how to read anything, you stumble through it, right? And it, essentially what you're doing is you're training your brain. You are training your brain. And then when you do it enough, you know, you know, you expect yourself. You totally accept yourself where you are. You're like, I know I can't read anything. I'm, I'm in first grade. I've never read anything a day in my life. I don't know how to fucking read. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't expect yourself to, to be able to start reading fucking novels when you're in first grade. You don't get mad at yourself when you, when you first try to ride a bike. You don't get mad at yourself because you can't do it the first time. You know, you expect that you're going to have to stumble through this until it gets really good. And then what happens other than that is also you get, you get 
really joyful. You enjoy the process of learning how to get better. When you go to the gym and you like, I remember going to the gym and it was the, like I just started going back to the gym. This was years ago. I just started going back to the gym and I went on the ab machine, right? That goes like this. And I couldn't even pick it up. I couldn't even pick it up. And then months down the line from practice repetition, I got to the point where I was putting weights on it and I was like, yeah, with the weights. And I was able to look at myself and go, oh my God, look at how far I've come. I had that contrast to be able to gauge how far along I've come. And I was like, holy shit. I'm like, this is awesome. I'm so good at this. And then you feel, what? think about the difference there, right? When you first start off learning how to crunch those abs on that ab machine or play that guitar. Like when I first started playing guitar, I felt like the, my fingertips were going to bleed the fuck off. I thought they were just gonna just slice, I thought the strings were just gonna slice through them. It was, there was a lot of resistance, lots of resistance, but I wasn't mad at myself. I was just like, yeah, this is okay. Little by little, I focused on the desired outcome of wanting to play the guitar, the joy of feeling that. I really would love to play this guitar. I would love to be able to play like Jimi Hendrix. That was never a goal of mine, but for me, it was like, I would love to be able to play in order to support the songs that I write. I would love to be able to create. I wanna create, I wanna be able to play. I wanna be in the flow of this. Um, when you go to the gym and you do that ab machine, you're like, I wanna be able to do this ab machine because I'm gonna be fucking awesome if I can do it, you know? And you focus on, you keep your eyes on the prize. Sometimes you stumble, sometimes you get pissed off, yeah. But you, there's resistance when you start off. But as you go along, the resistance starts to lessen. And, and pretty soon, you're on a stage rocking out a song on that fucking guitar and you feel clarity, you feel clear, you feel more excited to learn more, you feel more equipped to learn more, you feel stable, right? You feel stable in, yeah, I can fucking pick up a guitar and play, I can do this enough, I, I can put some weights on it, let's gain some more resistance, let's put some weight on this because I've, because now it just feels too clear, it feels too good. I want to, I want to up my game here, add more contrast. Do you see that? Do you see what's happening here? Do you understand the analogies that I'm throwing out here about life? It works the exact same way with training your brain to be able to attract what you want. You put your eyes on the prize. You get into the joy of the unfolding of it, knowing that you don't, a, you don't want to get from zero to fucking 300 in one second because you want to enjoy. You want to be able to be like, yeah, one day I couldn't play this and now I'm a fucking rock star. Or one day I couldn't do this ab machine and now look at me. You want to be able to do that. You want to because you're going to appreciate it so much more. You want that appreciation. You want to feel powerful. And so... When we are learning to attract that which we want, we have to train ourselves to focus on that which we want, and that takes time. We've got a lot of resistance in the beginning because we've learned to focus on that which we don't want. We just have a lot of resistance. And you gotta be easy with yourself. Practice, practice thinking thoughts of wanted and desired things rather than unwanted things. Right? You're not going to sit at the ab machine and be like, motherfucker, I can't fucking do this. You're not going to be mad at yourself the first time you get on the machine or even a week after you've been on the machine. Maybe you, there could be some frustration. That shit happens, yes. But for the most part, you understand. Everybody has an understanding that when you want to get from here to here, you've got to practice your way into it. But for some reason... We don't look at it that way when it comes to learning how to manifest that which we desire. When you're learning how to play guitar or a sport or read or anything else, you are training your brain. So what is the difference? Because there's not a physical thing to do when you're learning how to manifest. It's the same fucking thing. I'm telling you guys, practice, practice. So there's 
a gazillion things. There's a gazillion tools out there that you can practice. Essentially, I want you to just practice feeling good. Practice feeling good. Practice thinking about that which you desire and feeling good about it. And if you can't think of that, think about that which you desire and feel good about it, then just think about the shit that feels good. Practice feeling good. And do that. Make that your spiritual practice every day for the next 30 days. Every day for the next week. Every day just for today. Like just, just set out to make it a practice for you. And add a little bit more resistance as you get better. So for me, I've been doing this shit for years, okay? Doesn't mean I'm anybody than anybody. I'm just saying I've practiced it for many years to the point where it started off with me just doing it once a day. And then I started adding little things. Remember I told you maybe a month or so ago that I am really good with staying calm around Meadow because I meditate with her there. That was me putting the weights on the machine, right? That was me. Now that I know how to do this ab machine with no weights on it, I'm going to add a little bit of resistance. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast. And so I added the resistance of, let me take this really difficult moment where I'm with my child trying to get her to go to sleep or trying to get her to do anything or trying to just be calm while she's running all over the place. And let me try to meditate. Let me try to focus my mind. Let me practice focus. Let me practice peace. And then it was, for me, it was kind of like little by little. It was like, okay, throughout the day, while I'm doing this activity, while I'm doing the dishes, I hate doing the fucking dishes. I was like, okay, this was before I got a dishwasher. Then I manifested a dishwasher. (laughs) But I said, okay, I hate doing the dishes. While I do the dishes, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to myself in a loving manner. I'm so awesome. I am love. I'm doing the dishes. I'm telling myself this. I am love. I'm just practicing thoughts that feel good. Practice. You got to practice the good thoughts. Practice thoughts that feel good. We already know that the law of attraction, that being able to attract that which you desire, it's just a, it is just a result of focusing on positive things. We know that, right? We know that. But you have to practice that. So don't expect yourself to be the Jimi Hendrix of manifesting when this is your first time. And here's another thing. I've been doing this for like 12 years now. And I'm still learning. I'm still adding a little bit more of that resistance on there to try to work through that. I am still practicing. I'm still taking, okay, Let me, like, now I'm at the point where I can manifest a really difficult relationship because that's a better challenge for me. I'm like, okay, well, now I need need somebody to be, like, in my face, getting on my damn nerves, throwing me out of the vortex because now I'm so practiced and equipped with focusing on that which I like and desire and feel good about that I want to add some more weight on there. And I want to learn how to focus on that. Now, when you're just starting off, you got to stay the fuck away from everybody that's negative because that's like, that's like adding all this extra weight onto your ab machine. When you're not, you can't even, you can't even pick the fucking machine up with no weights on it. So it's like, take all the resistance, take as much resistance off as you can, stay away from the negative people, you know, and little by little, you'll start to be able to be around contrast and still feel okay and still feel good because you're so practiced in it. You're welcome. Meadow, Meadow just brought me some snacks to get her, open up for her. Here you are, little darling. You're welcome. See, Meadow's a good manifester too. Yeah, yeah. She's a good manifester, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that this really. Bye. bye. Okay. Bye. All right, guys. I hope that this really helped put some things in perspective for you and really explain this in simple life terms. It doesn't have to be this huge esoteric ether yada yada weird language mystic crap it doesn't have to be all that woo woo shit this is real it can be real tangible like everyday life is the law of attraction right it doesn't have to be crazy out there you don't have to have the verbiage this is it 
it's so easy. It really, it really is easy. Conceptually, it is easy. You just have to practice it. That's it. All right, guys? So enjoy this video, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Mwah. Hey guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please share this video because I know it can really help thousands above thousands of people. So if you would love to help me to spread my message and build my empire, if you really believe in me and the things that I'm doing here, please share my video, please share my channel, and go follow me all throughout social media, Facebook, Instagram at Darian Empire, and Snapchat at Darian Music for some of the behind the scenes stuff. Also, if you want to get some more from me, I have a monthly membership. It's only 22 bucks a month, and it has lots of juicy wonderfulness called Keys to the Empire. You can find that down below in the links below. And if you want to go even deeper and you're really ready to transform and get like a little boot camp of training from me and it's some really compassionate, loving spirit moving through me and do some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I have some links down below to do that as well. I also have some readings that I will be doing. So keep a look out on my website, DarianEmpire.com, because I am just for a very short period of time, I'm going to be doing some tarot and oracle readings along with coaching. It's not, I don't do, just do readings. I coach you through some of the things that you can do to be able, like I take that guidance and, and kind of give you tools to be able to implement that guidance into your life. All right, guys, so until next week, again, subscribe if you are new here. And until next week, here's a video from the archive. Enjoy. Bye, guys.